Hello, hello, welcome. Hello, can you see me? Can you hear me? If everything is all right, let's start. So, wow, I can see there are many boys and many girls today. That's amazing. So I want to say hello to everyone and hello to moms and dads who are watching. I want to tell you about our our school first. So if you are the first time in our lesson, so I want to tell you about All Right. What is it? And where are you? So All Right is an international English school where children from four years old can study English in a fun and exciting way. We've been teaching for over five years already, and we've got more than 20,000 students from 16 countries. Hello, welcome. I can see many, many. Alexandra, hello. Hello again, Mark. So a bit more about our school. Why are we the best school? Why do we need to why do you need to study there? So we've got individual lessons when you and your teacher one by one, one on one study together. We got the durations of the lessons for 25 and 50 minutes. So if you're under the age of eight, we advise you to take 25 minutes. If you're older, take 50 minutes. We got a free trial lesson. If you want to try, you don't need to pay, you just you just sign up and get your free trial lesson. One more thing, that's game-based methodology. We don't learn very, very boring rules. We do quests, puzzles, game tasks, and sing songs, of course. And we get many teachers with experience, with very good experience. So we can propose you very, very many interesting things. For now, what can you do in our school? First, we've got the cool course based on Minecraft game. So write in chat if you like Minecraft. You can learn different words, phrases, and in English, of course, playing Minecraft. Two, we've got online summer course where you take the journey with Charlie around the world. You visit more than 10 countries and learn the travel words. And three, the animals course. If you like animals, you like lions, you like pandas, you will like the animals course. So how to become the student at our school? First, you need to click at the link, sign up for a free lesson under the video in the description. So you can click and sign up for a free trial lesson. Two, fill out the form, answer some questions, choose a time, and the date. And then you choose how many times per week do you want to study? Maybe two times or three. And now I got the special gift. If mom is not here, you can call mom. You got the gift. For our new students, we give 10% discount with the promo code YT06. So when you buy the package, write this promo code and get the special offer. 10% off. So now we can start our lesson. And if you have some questions, you can ask them in the end. So, oh, I can see the Roblox team. You don't like Minecraft, you like Roblox, right? So let's start. Today we go to Europe and we study some interesting animals. Look at this picture and tell me, what animal can you see in this picture? Who is hiding? Is it a wolf? Is it a rabbit? How do you think? Who is it? Okay. I give you three seconds to think. One, two, three. And I open this picture so everyone can see. This one is a fox. So very good. You're right. That's the fox. And today we go to Europe to explore the wild. Okay, now we can see the foxes. One is sleeping, one is sitting, and the name of the lesson. Hello, Europe. So tell me, where are you from? Tell me, what country are you from? Are you in Europe? Okay, and let's answer some questions from the foxes. The first one is, what is your name? 
So let's meet each other. I tell you my name. My name is Olena, and I'm your teacher for today. And now, oh, Gabrielle, you mean you was eating hot dogs, not dogs. That's fine. Sorry. You like hot dogs. That's fine. So I can see Jessica is from Italy. Okay, Milika, what a nice name. That's good. I'm from Moldova. Hello, hello from Moldova. I'm from Ukraine. Is there anyone from Ukraine? Hello from Greece. That's amazing. Europe. Yes, yeah, Spain is in Europe. So you can say I'm from Europe. Hi, Mark. Hi, Leah. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Angel. Yes. Alexandra or Alexa. That's fine. And the second question. Oh, so many names. Alexandra and Kira. How are you today? Are you doing fine? Are you happy or are you tired? If you are tired, you can sit, you can lay back on your chair and enjoy and relax. Watch the video, watch the lesson. Okay, how are you today? You can say, what else? Maybe so-so, maybe super happy. I can see Maria is happy. That's amazing. Okay, any more? Yes, I'm over the moon. Jessica is over the moon. That's amazing. <laughs> okay, I'm happy to see all of you. Okay, Gabriel is close to Ukraine in Romania. That's cool. Okay, so everyone is happy. So we can start. And the continent we are traveling today is called Europe. So let's watch the video and learn some facts about Europe. All right, no more words. Let's start. Welcome to Europe. Did you know that this cool continent contains the world's biggest country and the smallest one too? Let's take a look around. We'll have to be extra brave to try keeping in Estonia, where competitors try to turn 360 degrees on a giant swing. Whee! But we can really feel the music in Finland at the International Air Guitar Championship. Things are getting a little spooky at Grand Castle in Romania. This is supposedly the home of Count Dracula, the most famous vampire in the world. Venice, Italy is known as the Floating City. It is connected by more than 150 canals. Ready to glide into the sunset on a gondola? All right, now we know a bit more about the Europe. So there is located the biggest country and the smallest country. We have seen some facts about Romania with vampires, right? And about Italy. I saw some of you from Italy. <laughs> That's right, Gabriel. So let's continue. I got an interesting fact about the Europe. Europe is the second smallest continent by geographic size. You know, tell me please, what is the biggest continent? We had four lessons already. You know, what's the biggest continent? Okay, tell me. All right, that's Asia. Asia is the biggest and Europe is the second smallest continent. Let's continue and meet the very popular animals who live in Europe. You can see, you can meet these animals in every forest. So if you go to the forest, be careful. Yes, because you can see them. Let's start. Hi, it's me, Foxy. Welcome to my home. You're a can you imagine that dogs and wolves are our relatives? This is my dad. He likes hunting at night. Look at my mom. She can run really fast. We like eating hares, mice, small birds, fish, and squirrels. Our pointed triangular ears help us hear well. We've got bushy tails. They're so fluffy. 
My brothers and sisters like playing near our den. We are smart and tricky. Let's find the hole and dig it up to get the treat. It's time to have a nap. I was pleased to meet you. Bye till next time. All right. Goodbye, goodbye, Foxy. Oh, I can see you like the foxes. You think they are cute. Okay, I agree with you. I think they are cute, but they also very smart and tricky. Now, I got some questions for you about the foxes. Let's start and answer those questions. The first one is, where do foxes live? You got three answers. A, B, and C. Okay, the first one, lakes. If you think foxes live in the lakes, write A. B, trees. If you think foxes live on the trees, write B. And C, they live in the dance. If you think foxes live in the dance, write C. Okay. Oh, Alexandra says, I want to be a bat and I love animals. Oh, that's very nice. When I was small, I wanted to be a web too. Okay, so you're right. Oh, my smart students, thank you so much. That's C. The foxes live in the dance. Alexandra, do you think foxes live on the trees? <laughs> okay, that's not lakes. No, foxes don't swim and not the trees. One more question. What do the foxes eat? Mm, that's an interesting question. A, mice, squirrels, and rabbits. B, carrots, potatoes, and corn. And C, leaves, flowers. Okay, that's interesting. You can see the picture. That's a, a small hint. Okay, that's fine, Alexandra. <laughs> Thank you. It's Tales from Sonic, <laughs> maybe. So I give you some time to think, what do they eat? What's their favorite food? Remember, they are hunters. So they hunt. They are predators. They hunt for food. Oh, yes, very good. Now I can see only right answers. A, they eat mice, squirrels, and rabbits. They don't eat carrots and potatoes. Maybe we do, we eat, but they don't. And they don't eat leaves and flowers. They are not giraffes, right? Okay, now let's continue and play a game. You can see the picture of a cute foxy. Let's describe it. So tell me please, how can you describe this fox? It's got or tell me more about this fox, some adjectives. Is it cute? Is it big? Is it small? Is it nice? Is it bad? All right, I want to see your answer. Your answer is okay. Thank you, Alessandra. Okay. Jessica, maybe carrots, I think sometimes, but mostly they like to eat meat. So what about the fox? How can you describe it? Right, so let me let me help you. I can open some answers. So I think foxes are cute. Okay, Jessica, it has got a cute tail. Very good. Yes, Mark, it has a tail. It's got four. Mm -hmm. We got we got hair, and foxes have got fur. Yes, they are orange. Thank you so much. Fox is a cute animal. Mm -hmm. Two, fox is tricky. It means they like to make some jokes. Maybe they are very sly, but they are also very smart. It has got a small mouth. Yes, very good. Nice answer. Yes, we've got the word small. It has got a cute little nose. Isabella, very nice. It's big. Okay, maybe. When we compare it to the elephant, the fox is small. But when we compare it to the rabbit, the fox is big. The fox run, runs fast and is orange. 
and it's got a tail. Good. What else? Yes, the black tail, you're right. Black means very soft. You can touch it and it will be nice. So the last one, they got sharp teeth. Tell me, have you got the, the sharp teeth? Sharp means like this. Oh, you can't touch it, it's too sharp. Okay, and now let's look at the cards. I got some cards with the adjectives. Adjectives means the words which describe beautiful, sad, nice, or bad. So the first card, let's repeat. Don't forget to say it with me, is cute. Let's say it together, cute. All right, and now tell me please, how do you think which animal is cute? Okay, I want to hear your variants. What is the cutest animal? I think dogs are cute, pandas are cute, maybe mice are cute. I'm so boring. Okay, and why are you boring? You're bored. Have fun together with us. You can write answers. Tell me what animal is cute. Okay, maybe the butterflies. Okay, I can see your answers. Mm -hmm. Rabbits are cute, Jessica, that's fine. Dog is cute, Anna, yes. Okay. Any more pandas are cute, good. Thank you so much for your answers. The next word is tricky. If you like to make jokes on your friends, you are tricky. Okay, tell me, are you tricky? Or maybe your friends are tricky? And repeat after me, don't forget. Tricky, and you, tricky. All right, you can see this fox is smiling, and it's maybe tricky, not cute. The next one, the next card is fast. So you use your hands to show fast. Foxes are fast. Maybe what other animals are fast? Dogs, pumas, lions, tigers. Oh, Gabriel, you're tricky. Jessica is tricky too. <laughs> All right, you can give me five. I am tricky too. Good. Next one is smart. Smart means you like to read books. You like to learn new stuff. You like to watch videos and films. So that's smart. Okay, now let's repeat all four words and show with me. Cute. Okay, repeat. Tricky. Tricky. The next one is fast. Fast. And the last one, you can show the glasses smart all right now let's continue and play a game you can see the picture and two buttons you got button cute and button tricky you need to tell me is this bird cute or is this bird tricky i give you five seconds to think and to write your answer okay so i will read the first three winners okay the one two, three. Okay, I can see Isabella. Any more? Alexandra. And any more? Gabriel, yes, of course, you can join us. Okay. And one more. Okay, Julie, Julie King. So you are right. The bird, let's read the sentence. The bird is cute. Good. Now let's change the slide, next one. Now you can see the boys and two adjectives again. Fast and cute. So tell me, okay, Nicole, hello. Okay, Nicole, I remembered. So are the boys fast or are the boys cute? Mm -hmm. Tell me, I can read three names. Who will be the first one? Are they fast or cute? Stand off two. Very good. Julia King and Alexandra. Very good. So the boys, that's right. Yes, Jessica, good. The boys run fast. The boys are fast. Read together with me. That's amazing. I can see a million more. Mm -hmm. 
who else is here? Not Marta, Nicole, okay. And Ramon and Maria made it. The boy is fast like a fox. <laughs> okay, that's fine. One more picture. Get ready. Look at this man. He's thinking about some, some problem. Math problem, physics problem. So is he smart or is he tricky? Again, I give you five seconds and read first three names. One, two, three, four. Five. Okay, stand off two. All right, very good. Who else is here? Alexandra. Mm -hmm. That's that. That's nice. Nicole. He's with Jessica. Okay, that's right, Alexandra. So he is smart. He's got the book and he's thinking a lot. He is smart. And the sentence the man is smart. Amazing. And the last picture, get ready. Get ready for the next one. Oh, look at this pony. Tell me if you like this cartoon. Do you like the cartoon about ponies? So tell me, is it cute or is it tricky? All right, give you three seconds. You should be fast. One, two, three. Look at the smile. So the pony is smiling. And I think it's a bit, it's a bit tricky, very good. So let me see, Alexandra, is it looking okay? That's right, tricky. Okay, Alexandra again, Alexandra, Alexandra. <laughs> okay, you get same name, that's fine, that's cool. Marta, okay, Anastasia. Okay, Gabriel, you hide this cartoon, you don't like. Okay, that's a unicorn, not pony. Okay, maybe that's a unicorn. So the pony or the unicorn is tricky. Let's read the sentence. The pony is tricky. That's cool. And now I tell you about the rule. Here is a small, short rule about how to compare smarter, smaller, or bigger, how to say. We use adjectives like beautiful, smart, short to show change, bigger, smaller, or make comparisons. So let's look at this picture. We usually add ER, smarter, smaller, to one syllable adjectives. What is one syllable, you ask me? That means short. When you clap, small, that's one syllable beautiful that's one two three three syllables so let's look at this mouse this mouse is small but this mouse is it's smaller so you add er in the end to compare them small smaller now look at these words think and write how to compare them Okay, so let's open. Okay, Jessica, I'm smaller than my brother. Yes, your, for example, eight brother is 10. You are smaller than your brother. That's okay. Now let's open. Cute becomes cuter. For example, foxes are cuter than the bears, right? Two, fast becomes faster. Yes, the lion is faster than the zebra, than the mouse. Okay, the mouse on the left is smaller than the other. Very good. And the last one is smart, smarter. Maybe the person, the people are smarter than the mice. I am faster than my cousin. That's cool. So now, Let's look at the example. You can see, okay, tell me, what can you see? What is it? Is it a mouse, a fox, or, or a fish? So that's good. <laughs> Einstein is smarter than me. Jessica, very good. You are, you are smarter than Einstein. <laughs> Einstein, that's good. This fish 
is small. But who can tell me about this fish? Let's compare those two fish. This fish is small, but. Okay, can you read this sentence? All right, let's open it. This fish is smaller. Okay, you compare it. The fish is small, but this one is smaller. Okay, now this was for you and me. We did it together. And now you do it yourself. Okay, Isabella, I like your answer. I'm smarter than my friend. <laughs> That's fine. The fish is small. Yes, it's smaller than the giraffe. Now let's continue. I got the picture of a mouse. This mouse is fast. It runs to get some cheese or to get some milk or to get some food. So this mouse is fast. But look at this picture and tell me about this mouse. I give you five seconds. I count and you tell me the sentence. This mouse is fast, but this mouse, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, that's not Isabel, it's Darius. Okay, Darius, sorry. Yes, I tell you, I open. This mouse is faster. Okay, Alexandra was the first one. The mouse is faster. You can see some air. Look, it's running away. This mouse is faster. Okay, very good. Now, it's time to play a game. It's your turn. So, what do you need to do? I show you the pictures of two animals and you need to compare them, okay? For example, I show you the fox and I show you the rabbit or the bunny. And you need to tell the fox is, the fox is what? Is it maybe smaller, bigger, smarter? or maybe sadder. All right, so let's play a game and you tell me any adjectives you like. So let me see who is the fastest. Okay, I like faster. Maybe the fox is faster, that's cool. The fox is bigger than the bunny. Yes, it's bigger, yes. The fox is taller. Maria, are you, are you going away? Goodbye, see you. Don't forget about your gift in the end. So the fox is bigger, faster. What else? It's taller. Is okay, let me count more. Is big, yes. Bigger, okay. The fox is, is it? Two, okay, taller, I counted anymore. Let's count to five. I can help you, it's, it's smarter. Okay, and it's cuter. You can say it's cuter. Okay, let's continue. Now, I show you the squirrel and the bird. Oh, it's fluffier. Yes, it's fluffier than the rabbit. Now, the sentence is like this. The bird is... So, let's compare them. Look at the bird's face. Something has happened. So, the bird is... Let's count. Five again. It's not bigger. <laughs> Intelligent, Alexander. Very good. But you need to remember one syllable. Smart, short, intelligent. There are four syllables. So you say more intelligent. Okay, you can say smarter. Okay, Jessica, the bird is smaller. Okay, is smaller. What else? The bird is sadder. It's sadder. The bird is cuter. Is faster. Yes, I like the answer. Sadder. Yes, it's sadder than the squirrel. And the last one, maybe it's okay. Anymore? Is smarter. Is more. Is more worried. Okay, that's fine. And now let's change our game. Now you need to write the whole sentence. The answer. Who is smarter? You got two animals. One is the dolphin, two is the panda. So tell me, 
who is smarter. It will be easy, but write the full sentence, please, okay? So, the pony, the pony is tricky. That's fine, that's good. Okay, the bird is yellow, is more yellow. Okay, yeah. So, tell me about the dolphin or the panda. Okay, Jessica, the dolphin is smarter. Good, the dolphin is smarter than the panda. Yes, it's smarter. So, very good. I love your answers. But panda is lazier. <laughs> Let's continue. And one more, the last game about who is cuter. Look at those babies. Here is baby koala and baby monkey. So tell me who is cuter and who do you like more? Okay, let me see. The dolphin is smarter than the panda. Yes. <laughs> the panda poos all the day. <laughs> That's fine. Jessica, they sleep all the day. They eat all the day. They enjoy all the day. Relax. <laughs> yeah, so who is cuter for you? I think for me, koala is cuter. Monkey is cuter for you. Okay, it's 50-50. Emilian, who is cuter for you? Monkey or koala? Koala, yes, koala is cuter. Okay, the koala is cuter. Oh, you can see the koala and monkey are cute. They are cute together. So baby monkey is cuter. It's 50-50. Some of you like monkeys, some of you like koalas. So that's cool. And now monkeys, koalas, and foxes have prepared a gift for you. We've got the present for you. So the lesson is about to finish. And now it's time to get your gift. Now you can get the prize. As always, very nice set of cards. So you can get your set of cards with cute, fast, tricky, and smart on your email or on your mom's email. So if you want to get your cards, get them on your email, print, and play with your friends. So thank you so much for today's lesson. If you liked everything, you can write in chat if everything is right and i'm waiting for you for the next lesson next time we go to antarctica and we go to some other interesting places so don't forget to come to our lessons get your homework and to review the words thank you so much for coming today goodbye goodbye from foxes and from me okay i hope you're happy on this lesson thank you so see you, see you.